Turtle! You're my friend now. Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I'm your humble narrator, welcome back to Firewatch. I uh, confiscated these fireworks from these kids, and then uh, threw their radio in the water, and stole their whiskey, and now they're they're up in my, my tower, fucking with my shit. This typewriter was a gift from my wife. I'm going to have someone's head, that's all I can say about it. I've been vandalized. Oh, I tried to throw the typewriter through the window. Ha 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 ha. Here, put the typewriter back. God damn it, assholes. Threw my books all over the floor. <sighs> it's not good. It's not good. At least they didn't fuck with my photo. My photo of Julia, wherever that is. I don't know what's going on. I guess I should call this in. Call in some vandalism. Hey, some some shit happened here. broke in. Hey, what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. <gasps> Motherfucker. Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. Wow, that makes things a lot better. Hey, I'll, I'll write up a report about what happened. Thanks so much. Gotta fix all my shit before I go to bed. Uh, I think this is what I want to do? After hiking through the woods all day? Okay, I put in a call. Well, thanks so much. Okay, thanks. Do you have any idea who would have done this? The fucking kids! Are you kidding me? I did probably piss off the girls at the lake. Ugh, fuck them. Well, I'll have the rangers keep an eye out for a couple of young women and question any they find. I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some, what, violent campers? Uh, I guess. Okay, in the morning I'm going to call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you Better to feel nothing. safe out here. I don't. Well, I sure don't now. You will. I, I promise. Bullshit. Oh, apparently I just went to bed. Thank you, game, for telling me when to go to bed and how to live my life. <laughs> God damn it. Every time. Wake it up. was cold as hell. But I did get those girls whiskey. <laughs> hey, wake up. Winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I'm not awake yet. And by awake, I mean drunk. <laughs> Just let me have a few more sips of this here. Mm, oh, that's good. All right, I think I'm ready to deal with you now. What do you want? I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. Uh, so what do you want me to do about it? I don't really know why that would be the case. Should I be worried? About what? We can't get help if we need it. Oh, you're tough, Hank. You don't seem like the guy who likes to ask for help. Sure. What I need you to do, though, is hike out to where the wire runs through your area and report back if it's down. Then I can track down a ranger to get someone on it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? You probably had to hike through a cave yesterday to get home. Uh, yeah, I did. So, you're gonna want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. Thanks, Hank. Henry. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. No, it doesn't. Okay, all right. You're weird. You're fucking weird. I'll tell you right now, you're weird. I'm just gonna drink some of this Scottish oil soap or glass cleaner or bleach and end my misery. Oh. Well, it seems to be empty. There's nothing inside here. Alright, whatever. Go inspect some fucking power lines or whatever I'm supposed to do. Leave my poor little shack all by its lonesome. Make sure I don't hit my head because I'm still the 12 foot tall man. There. Trust me. Everything's going to be awesome. 
And where was that cave? Oh, where's the generator? I saw the generator when I was coming up. But uh, I'm not sure where it is now. I guess we could just run into the woods. See how the uh, the freedom of this game actually works. That might be nice. It looks like a cave. Can I go in the cave? Let me go in the fucking cave. This is my job. And I do it, although begrudgingly. But yeah, um, I think I'm a volunteer, so I get to do it begrudgingly. If you guys were paying me, I'd, I'd have a smile on every day. But instead, all I get is solitude. That's your payment. You get to drop out of society. That actually sounds pretty good some days. What? 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 I can't seem to get to the cave. Can I just climb down the rocks? This dude seems to be a fucking, like, Spider-Man when he's going up rocks. But climbing down? No, that's my weakness. He's probably scared of heights. Because he's the 12 foot tall man. <laughs> I don't know how long I'm going to keep that shit going. It's probably not even as funny to anyone else as it is to me. <laughs> yeah! Got him! Oh, it's creepy and foggy over here. Wonderful. Jonesy Lake, Ruby River. Well, we like came back from the lake and then there was the cave, right? Am I remembering this correctly? I think I'm supposed to go back up this way, maybe? Is that where I saw the cave? Sure enough. Look at this cave here. Oh, it's not much of a cave, is it? God damn it. Well, I can uh, run the hidden pine trails of the forest. Eat the sunsweet berries of the earth. Paint with all the colors of the wind. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Hey, lady! It's cold out here. Uh, it's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder, though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? Why you gotta... I just was saying it's cold. Why you gotta make it about... God damn it. I'll tell you about my dog. Uh, you know, um, I don't know. I used to just spend a lot of time with our dog, Bucket. Aw, that's a good name. He was a good dog. What type? A beagle. We got him from the pound. That's great. Hey, can you hold on a sec? Uh, sure. Just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Yeah, we hey, went in a big fucking circle. I don't think so. Why, have you? What? Are you talking to me? Okay, good. No, I don't think he has any idea. What? I'm absolutely sure. Excuse me? Alright, I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Hey, this bitch is talking about, about me. Anyway, Bucket's a cute name. You, um, you owned him with someone? Uh, tell me about that call, how about... You can't just extract information well, and expect me not to like do I anything. Call me if you need anything. Yeah. Super weird. I don't like her already. She's just trying to get under my skin. She's like, hey, we're friends, right? Bitch, I don't know you. I don't know you like that. Who you think you are? Alright, we're almost to that cave, I think. Oh yeah, I'm I'm in Badis. I mean me. Super jam, eh, baby. Ah, uh, I halfway want to say something about the call, but I missed my opportunity. She's like, "Oh, I guess I fucked up. He doesn't want to talk to me." You're right, I don't, because you're a two-faced backstabbing bitch. Hey, I don't think he has any idea. Idea about what? You can't just talk about me. Expect me to be cool with it. Oh, the gate is locked. Hello? What the fuck? There's a, a locked this gate here. Cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so maybe its wow. mysteries are locked away for good. 
Eh, that's too bad. I used to go caving in Colorado a lot with someone. It would be really nice to pick that back up. Fond memories, huh? Big time. I'll, uh, I'll keep an eye out for those keys. Don't hold your breath. The fuck? All I said was report locked gate. Not talk about your crazy wife. Do not feed this woman any information. Because like all women, she will use it against you at some point in the future. Mm-hmm. Mark my words. I know about it. Tell you what. And it's like, hey, do you want to report the canyon? Yeah, so I can reveal some more innocuous information. I don't think so. I don't think I'm going to do that. No, sir. I thought I was supposed to head north. God damn it. Communication lines north of the canyon. So we're still in the canyon. Uh, did I miss my turn off? I think I missed my turn off. There's the cave, and then I went fucking... Uh, where should I go from the so canyon, lady? I'm out of the cave and I'm passing through that canyon now. I'm not seeing any wires in here. Oh, no, 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 no. No, it sounds like you turn east towards Jonesy Lake. Look okay, from the cave, you just want to come out and go straight to the north. Got it. Well, at least she's useful for some information without prying too much. That's how these chicks be, man. They're like, hey, let's talk about this. And they're like, no, wait, let me ask you about something completely unrelated. Give me more information. No. I ain't gonna do it. Gap in the brush. Clear it. Okay, then. Are we good? Are we fucking square? I'll know this patch of woods like the back of my hand. But the thing about woods is that uh, they change. Every couple years, it, it's going to look completely different. It's kind of the magic thing about woods. It's better than having a fucking 20 McDonald's franchise set up on one block, isn't it? Look, there's a Exxon... McDonald's, Starbucks, Walmart, Exxon, McDonald's, Starbucks, Walmart, Exxon, McDonald's, McDonald's, Starbucks, Walmart, Exxon, Exxon. You know what I mean? That's how it feels living in America sometimes. Kind of like the Philippines because they're uh, a bit more lax as far as like getting business licenses and shit like that. America, you got to go through all this paperwork, so unless you got a lot of money, you ain't going to be able to start a business. What's this? Beartooth Point and Thoroughfare Fire Lookout. Oh, she, she lived down that way, do she? Alright, so there's, uh, some lines. I guess we're on the right path. Am I supposed to be following it this way or that way? I guess I'll go that way. Why not? And, uh, hop over this log. It looks all good from here. Oh no, there's a broken point over there. It's not going to let me call out yet. Like, no, you can't see that far. You got to get closer to that to see it, right? Yeah, I, I guess I do. What the fuck? It's probably those fucking campers again. Trying to ruin everybody's good time. i tell you what. There's another box. You can dig for goodies. That's a nice thing in this game. But you basically want to open every box because the maps have uh, different information on them. Ain't that right? Hmm. Where's the box? There it is. There it is. Don't worry, buddy. I got it. That's cool. And the password, I forget. It's some sequence of numbers. Oh, yeah. One, two, three, four. Got it. And I like how I just leave it unlocked, too. I'm like, ah, eh, fuck it. Nobody's gonna come out here. Two days hike to go skinny dipping? These bitches is crazy. Let's take this note. Oh, look at that. I probably could have ripped the last note off without uh, trying to read it in tiny, tiny font. Dave, hey, yo, I got your note about needing to talk and sorry I didn't track you down. Been looking for you all day. Figured you'd be out near the canyon helping the grad students, but I guess not. I didn't even know how I could really help anyways. We're co-workers, you know, amigos professionalis. If you need someone to throw back a case with and go time traveling, Ron's your guy, but I'm not great with that life stuff. You get it. Whatever. You're a weird guy. You're a weird guy. What is this? A bunch of pine cones and shit? 
I don't want any of this. All right. Well enough. Close it up. Can I can I report this? Yeah, the wire's uh, yeah, down okay, here. Okay, the wire's down here. Really? Awesome. Good find. It's like I don't know a mile and a half east of me. You just follow the trail up the hill. You can't miss it. I'll go see what the damage is. I'll go see what the damage is. See this fucking guy too. He's just volunteering. Oh, turtle. Turtle. You're my friend now. Bucket's dead. But Sparky's not. That's that's what I called my turtle. Cause he runs fast and his ass drags on the rug. And he makes sparks. Yeah. Sparky's a good boy. I don't know where the fuck I put him. In my pocket? Don't put a turtle in your pocket. Is that a turtle in your pocket or you just happen to see me? No, it's a turtle coming out of my ass. I'm turtle headed out here. Well, the nice thing about the woods is that you can just take a shit anywhere. You don't need to, to turtle head. You just you just do what you need to do. Nobody's going to judge you. More beer cans. I know it's those kids. Those fucking kids. Oh. At least I didn't uh, crack my ankles or something like that. Utility pole. I can see the wire. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. I want to talk to this chick as little as possible. That's how I'm going to do this. Piece of cake. Easy day. That's what I say. Alright, so, uh, the pole looks like a pole. Right? Sure does. I'm going to go expect the damage up close. Why are you going to do this? There's like a little thing that says go to hell. Can I get that? End of the wire. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. It's snipped clean through, and there's a bunch of beer cans out here. The same beer those girls were drinking. They also left us a, a message. <sighs> These idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want Kill you to them. find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is... illegal. Mm. Let's hear it. <laughs> oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm, I don't know. Um... <sighs> Wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I am going to need a raise. <sighs> Don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Well, they're big mm. a red eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. Well, we're on the hunt for some teenage girls, but it's not like you think it is. They're just assholes, and apparently I'm supposed to scare the crap out of them. Yeah, that's gonna work. I mean, they're they're vindictive, you know? Why are teenage girls just so vindictive? I don't know. I guess we'll find them in the next episode, friends. I hope that you'll join me for it. This has been Firewatch. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. Only halfway through the day, but you know, I can't, I can't, I can't play as long as I'd like. Uh, we gotta, we gotta call it for now. But please join me next week for a little bit more. Don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy the episode. We've also got links in the description to Twitter, Discord, Patreon. If you'd like to support me on any of those, it would be massively, massively appreciated. But I appreciate you for who you are, just for watching this far. That is some awesome shit. You're a hero. I tell you, a hero. Anyways, <laughs> once again, this has been Firewatch. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I shall see you in the next one, friends. And until then, bye bye One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you. My friends.